Well, hello and welcome to Overdy Vest Nurseries on a windy, blustery afternoon in early spring. And while it's cold and miserable outside, it's nice and warm and vibrant in here with all of this incredible colour given by these new exciting varieties of coral bells. And this gorgeous variety here, which is called Heuchera Sugar Plum, is for me one of the most amazing varieties that we grow on the nursery. I just love this kind of psychedelic color that you get from the new emerging leaves. And then when you see that underneath it's got this layer of more silvery leaves all with dark veins and then if you happen to look through and see some of the reverse coloring on the leaves you can begin to see what a terrific plant this is then take a look at the tags here and you'll see that when it flowers later on during the summer time and late spring you're going to see lots of these dainty pretty little pink flowers that it carries prominently above the canopy of leaves too. And what's more, this will keep going right through the whole of the growing season, from spring through summer into the fall and even into the winter time. Easy to grow and highly reliable. This is a plant that quite literally gives you color any time it's got leaves on it. Raised by Terra Nova Nurseries, it's amazing the strides that plant breeders have made with this native genera. It used to be years ago that all we had were green and dark purple leaf forms, but today we've got incredible colors and some of them just seem to get more and more excited every time I see them. Now this particular variety is quite strong growing because it's got alum root blood in it. That's Heuchera villosa. It's of course a native species that's big and vigorous, flowers in the latter end of the summer going into the fall and from that comes vigor and also tolerance to heat and humidity. And that gives this plant a bit extra oomph as it was it's something that when you put it into the garden you're going to see makes a nice sized clump of about a foot or so wide by or a foot or so high by about 18 inches or so wide and then when it flowers these flower spikes that are just now beginning to rise up out of the foliage will get up to about two foot or so What's neat about this is that it makes a good garden plant, but it'll also make a superb plant for putting into containers. I love to use these things in pots and window boxes, even hanging baskets. And if you're looking for something to brighten up a patio, a deck, a pot by the front door, or wherever you'd like to add a little bit of color, then I think you can see with all of this incredible coloration coming from these leaves that it you will make an instant display. Add to that the fact that it lasts such a long time and also stands up quite well to blustery windy conditions and I think you can see what a terrific plant this is and how many places you could use it in the garden. Many people like to use these along the fronts of beds and borders and if you've only got a small area some road and you want to put in just one plant that's perfectly okay. But you can see when I show you this shot right across the foliage here, what a terrific amount of color you get when you group this in bolder mass groups too. So lots and lots of really good uses for them, including putting them into floral arrangements too. These leaves, once they mature and uh, get to a stage where they're not going to collapse when you pick them straight away, in other words, the young leaves, avoid those, but pick the ones that are well formed, you'll find that they last a remarkably long time when you put them into a vase of water. Just make sure, and this is important, just make sure that you never put them in saturated wet conditions in soil in the garden. They just do not like to grow in heavy clay soils. Better if you can incorporate plenty of organic matter, make the soil nice and loose and fluffy, 
build it up a little bit, raise it up a little bit if needs be, and then you'll find that these fibrous rooted perennials will just love to grow and luxuriate in that sort of situation. So all in all, a superb variety that's very colorful throughout the whole of the year that you can use either in a partially shaded site and also once it gets established you'll find that this is also remarkably sun tolerant too lots and lots of really good places where you can use them including not having to worry too much about deer eating them too this is Heuchera sugar plum a magnificent variety raised by Terra Nova nurseries in Oregon <music>